And welcome back to the Heart of Chaos. I am Avier once again, and I welcome you back to the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I would not recommend going down into the dungeon without any potions, but you know me, I'm a little bit of a rebel. For you, however, especially if you're playing on Hero Mode, I would recommend you taking the time to go up to Skyloft and to grab some potions. I've already said I'm not the brightest tool in the shed, so why don't we go ahead and see what awaits us down here. Why was the other temple filled with lava? The Earth Temple? Well, that's because there was actually a fire sanctuary waiting for us in the, in the latter half of the game. There are two fire-based dungeons. And this one's much more revolved around the lava. Even, if, even though you might have felt that the other one was filled so much with lava. Now, funnily enough, I mentioned before that I had problems with my PVR. Well, it overheated as soon as we entered this dungeon last time I recorded it. How fitting that when we entered the Fire Sanctuary, my PVR would freak out. So I haven't done anything in the dungeon as of recording, and it's been quite, as I will mention for every single dungeon, uh, so, for, so far, it doesn't, I haven't played in quite some time, so if I might not remember everything exactly. Now these, these things right up here, you might notice that they are, well, spiny. You, if, if you manage to hit one, it'll fall and water will sprout out of it. That's actually quite useful. Uh, I do not believe you cannot get hearts from grass like this, so I guess I'm not getting a heart from that. You might notice that we won't be able to cross this bit of magma over here. Using our bow and arrow, we can go ahead and aim it at the spiky fruit. And now we can go ahead and cross pretty easily. But keep in mind, it won't stay there for long. This is reminiscent of Wind Waker during the first dungeon in its game, the Dragon Roost Caverns, where you would throw the jars filled with water into the lava so that you can cross it. Oh look, there is something over here. I was worried. Oh, a fairy! How fitting! Remember, we don't catch, capture fairies in a bottle. We are, we are a part of the anti-fairy abuse movements, where we will not abuse fairies in such a manner. Okay. Well, we want to go ahead and aim at this little fruit spiny thing. Go ahead and jump on it and jump across. That didn't work. I missed my chance. Oh, hey, that takes damage. I forgot about that. Okay. Now, I believe, regardless of the fact that it doesn't look like we can go forward, we want to jump over to that other platform. Am I wrong in this thinking? I think I'm wrong in this thinking. Oh well, there are hearts over here and I want them, plus good old buddy platforms right over here that we can go ahead and take, so it's not that big of a deal. We'll go ahead and continue on. Oh my god. Why did I see this go- Why? Why? Why didn't I see this coming? Hey, you guys need to- s You guys are inaccurate. Alright, well, let's go ahead and take them out without so much of a problem. Uh, just keep in mind, these are green book goblins. So these these guys are the second strongest book goblins. The hardest ones are indeed the blue ones. Goes in red, green, blue. Not sure the order there. Uh, I always uh, thought that it was maybe a subtle wink to Wind Waker, but that might just be me thinking. Because the order of the original dungeons in Wind Waker was indeed... Red, green, blue. Oh, come on! I used that correct motion game. Don't even pretend with me. Well, regardless of how well I did, skip! It's been completed, so we'll be able to open up this treasure chest. And we'll get a small key! This key will open a locked door. Woohoo! Okay, can we go across here at all? Because it kind of looks like that's a direction. I feel taunted. Regardless. Oh, hello! This is who I was looking for.
Well then, he's quite nice, the boss of the Magmas. Maybe we'll have something to do with him later, but for now, I'm gonna go ahead and just continue on. Already we can see the exit, or not the exit, but where we're going to end up in the long run. Kind of neat to foreshadow it, it's up so close. This dungeon in particular, I'm a huge fan of the Fire Sanctuary. I actually managed to get lost here a few times. Uh, there's just one particular area that really confuses me, but uh, every time I've gone through a playthrough, and probably this playthrough won't be any different, I've managed to fall into every one of my slumps throughout our playthroughs. Yeah, there. Oh, did he not? Was he not able to blow the horn? If that's the case, I'm extremely happy about that. Hey, what did you drop? Did I pick it up? Did he drop a golden skull? I'm gonna assume he dropped a golden skull because it made the sound of like a treasure dropping. Okay, let's keep going then, shall we? All right, going right and downstairs or up in this direction. Up first. Let's just make sure. Aha! I was right in going the wrong way. Yay! We'll go ahead and get 20 rupees from this little treasure chest, but why did we really come up here? Well, if you look over here, we can see a bit further into the dungeon, there's another save statue, appears to be bars, and a giant room over there. Presumably where this staircase to the right is going to lead us. So let's go ahead and see where the... Well, not where it goes. God, I am so redundant when I speak, and I apologize. That's because I'm not necessarily quick, quick-witted. I have to spend time thinking. However, I also don't like writing a script. Especially not for Let's Plays. That just doesn't feel right. Uh, the only time I'll be writing a script is when I review Skyward Sword, both the Let's Play, how the Let's, how I felt the Let's Play went, and the game itself. I'll probably write a script then, because that seems more apparent. But, uh, for now, it's not important. Anyway, what we want to do is we want to use this guy to lift this statue up or rock up so we can go ahead and make our way higher up. They're going to give us some arrows. Wonderful. Probably shouldn't have taken all of those. But, uh, who, how was I supposed to know? There we go. You shush. He wasn't able to get it in. He was not able to get the entire horn going, which hopefully that means no goblins. I hear... I hear you, so you're going to die. Might not have even been you, but I'm going to assume it was. Alright. So we do not want to go all the way up. That I just learned. We want to make our way across here. Hopefully not get shot, because that would be... A I just swiped that arrow with my sword. I am pro. Super pro. Alright, we got to make sure before you jump down to anything, that it is indeed the... Wait, I'm confused. <laughs> yeah, okay, I understand I don't have a webcam on, so you can't see my face, but I literally stopped, like, I got frustrated, uh, then looked around because I was in the right place, and got confused. Why is that even... Excuse me. Wait, is that there because you can get back up? Oh, that is... No. No, because you can just do this. Why is it even there? No, I mean, I'm serious. Like, why? Why is this chunk of stuff here? I am confused. Okay. Well, let's let's move on then. <laughs> um, gonna pretend that was how I wanted it to happen. But looks like we have an a new enemy. Sort of. A new enemy, but not a new enemy type. This is a dark Lizzle Foes. This beast has superb fighting skills and uses an iron arm guard. Watch for its quick counter attacks when, you at when your attacks are repelled. The attacks are repelled. There you go. Sorry. This creature's breath can cause a curse that will prevent you from using your sword. So I recommend re exercising extreme caution. And we've defeated Zero this enemy because it is the first of many. Alright, well, let's attack him 
as we are meant to. He's, he's exactly how you take care of the other Lizzle foes. Not at all a challenge. There you go. Taken out with relative ease. Uh, the curse? I've actually never seen him do the curse breath. I've seen the other Lizzle foes do uh, fire breath, but not a curse breath from these guys. Anyway, skip! Okay, let's grab these hearts over here because we like hearts. And let's make sure before we go anywhere that you always check the sides of these areas because you can never know what these places hold in regards to little treasures, usually just 20 rupees, but treasures nonetheless. Aha! Uh -huh. The side reveals that there's something we're going to have to unlock later on. So when we get the chance to see another outdoor area, we're going to have to make sure we unlock that switch for ease of access. Regardless, let's go ahead and continue forward then. We have another puzzle regarding what a, the water spiny fruit things. This one, this one's a little confusing, but it's not terrible. Alright, so let's go ahead and take care of all you guys. And don't worry if you run out of arrows, you are able to use the claw shot in order to bring down the fruit. You are not stuck. Uh, I do believe we're going to want to use the lovely beetle. And have him help us gather some stuff. Yeah, here's some bombs. I have to figure out where the bombs go. It's usually how this works. Oh, oh, I know how it works. Hopefully we get there in time. I haven't upgraded the beetle, which is honestly weird, because usually I have the beetle upgraded by now. Uh, but this time I haven't gotten very lucky in getting the correct treasures. Hang on, did I miss? That is what I'm supposed to do. I'm serious. That is... That is indeed what thine does in order to gather the way through this. I'm going to try that one more time, and if that's the wrong way, I guess I'm going to have to figure out the correct way. Let's go around the cursed keys. Because they, they're just buddies of mine. They just want to say hi. Alright, let's try this one more time, and then we'll probably be confused together. Though I'm fairly certain it's literally just there. Yeah, there, see? Did it need two bombs? Is that what it needed? I'm pretty sure it's just that I missed, but it didn't even look like I missed. Regardless, we got the lava flowing now, so it'll be able to flow to that second set of lava in order to move us down. It's a little weird why this why this uh, fruit's over here it doesn't even land down below, but one cool thing is if you find these uh, spiny fruits on the ground, you can go ahead and do a thrust attack to stick them on your sword. I believe that's a mechanic we will use later, but... If not, nice of me to mention now while I remember. Alright, so as soon as we get over here, we know we're going to be bombarded by the book goblins with arrows. Though they are extremely inaccurate in their attacks. Yeah, that was it. It's going to give us arrows. Neat. They really are plentiful arrows. Way more than on the sand ship, where the bow and arrow, you, you know, you get it from there. So it's a little different, but regardless... Oh, hey, buddy. That stuff looks hot! I wouldn't mind a little hot bath for my sore shoulders, but this is too much! What have we got here? Another new guard? Ha! You can't break me with interrogation, son. You'll never make me talk. I'm not some slight from sideshow for you to gawk at. Get lost! You know, if I really was a guard, you really shouldn't be doing this. I have a bow and arrow, a sword, bombs. Uh, just bellows. <laughs> I could actually do this to him. Wow, I actually didn't know that. He reacts to being blown with, blown with air. Anyway, the reason I brought the gust bellows out is because you can use these on this hot magma on the ground, uh, and it'll get rid of it for you. It'll give you some rupees and a bigger area to walk on. So that's always useful. I'd say in the next... We've gotten pretty far. So in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, we're going to continue on our way through the Fire Sanctuary. And uh, hopefully we'll save this Mogla and he'll give us something nice. If not, well, we... We did a pretty good job making it this far. Right? Yeah, I agree. I'll see you all then.